It's Friday. Let's go. Woo! Snap is already used by over 150,000 drivers and with its easy to use payment service, HGV drivers can park, wash and use the Dartford Crossing with ease and even breakdown assistance is available. You don't need to pay on the day as the fee is invoiced to the fleet. The Snap network has hundreds of locations around UK and Europe and is growing every week and with Snap you can pre-book your parking space ahead of time. What's more, Snap is free to join and there is no subscription. Snap, connecting journeys across Europe. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are all okay. Hopefully. And uh, yeah, let's have a good day today. Today's Friday for me. Today's Friday. We are just down the road from where we are delivering. Uh, today we have planned, so far, two um, uh, garden centres, basically. Yeah, two garden centres. So we're delivering to one now, Chessington Garden Centre, which is just up the road. In fact, actually, we're technically delivering to Chessington Nurseries, which I believe is in the garden centre. We'll find out. Um, I phoned them up yesterday because I needed to confirm which gate entrance to use because the entrance looks quite tight. And they did confirm, come in the exit. <laughs> so we, we will be going in through the exit gates. So you, just before I let you know, before you say, oh, you've gone through a gate, there's no entry. I have been specifically told to go through that gate. So that's what we're going to be doing. And then we've got to go to a Squires uh, Garden Centre down the road, which we've actually been to before. But then I've got no idea what we're doing from there. So that's what we're doing today. We've got four load of pallets. We've got nine coming off at this place. And then I think there's like another 10 or so for the, for the next place. Um, so yeah, that's what's planned today. Let's get to this garden centre that's just down the road and then uh, we can crack on from there. Molden rush it. Please slow down through our village. Well, I will when we get to the actual speed limit of 30 miles an hour, which is coming up. Lovely. So yeah, go through the exit gate. They, when I phoned up yesterday, it's a good job I did phone up because they said it wasn't booked in. So I said, well, should be, you've ordered it. Where are you going? Bloody hell. I can't just pull out me. I said, well, it should be booked in. You've ordered the stuff. <laughs> she goes, let me check. So they spoke and uh, she passed me to someone. This is like quarter past five at night. I'm ready to go home. I'm in the yard, ready to go home. Um, and he said, oh, can I give you a call back? I said, well, not really, mate. I'm just about to clock off going home for the evening. So I don't really want work phone calls while I'm at home. He said, oh, I'll just send you a text. So he sent me a text about half an hour later when I was home. I just said, yeah, all booked in. So I was like, okay, cool. So yeah, all booked in. We, well, it's nine o'clock in the morning right now. Um, they don't open till nine. So it's kind of good with garden centers like that. You can start a little bit later, but uh, yeah, it's nine o'clock. Um, right, we need to be on the other side of the road when we get the other side of these traffic lights pretty much just to get in. I have taken up two lanes here, but this van decided to get next to me. Kind of forced me over a little bit, mate. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Right, so the entrance for the garden centre is this, this entrance here on the left, just about to go past. Yeah, this one here. But he said, don't go in the entrance, go in the exit. So that is what we're going to do. But we've got to take it really wide, look, really wide. We've got to be on the other side of the road to get in. See if we can go in between this. After this car. Yeah. There we go. Let 
then he said, well, I think he said straight down here, past, past the customer car park, and I see the pallets. Yeah, I see the pallets over there, look, white pallets. That is the same stuff we are delivering. So we'll probably just go in there somewhere. I think if we go straight on, we can turn right here and then we're facing the way out then. I think that's probably the best bet. Come round here. So yeah, these pallets, you can't quite see yet. You will in a, in a moment. These pallets here are basically the same sort of pallets we're delivering, so. Yeah, I think I'd drive right and then reverse back down there a little bit. I think that's best. That is what we will do. Lovely. Ground is a little bit muddy, not gonna lie. But hey ho. Yeah, so we'll just park up here, handbrake on, get the curtains undone, take the straps off and uh, be ready for them to take them off. Like I said, I think they got, I think they got nine pallets. Yeah, nine pallets. Cool. Right, I'll see you outside. Right, matey boy on the forklift is now offloading us. That's good. Only nine pallets come off. It's a bit windy out there. A little bit windy. Um. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is put in the destination into the sat nav for the next place. There you go. Look, we're not very far away at all. Only five miles away. Lovely, although I don't, I'm not too sure on the way it's taking me in. Yeah, maybe, I'll have to research that. Right, I have just had a quick look on my phone, look at street view. Uh, yeah, it looks fine. So A road there looks fine. Then up here looks fine. And then onto this little road here, which, uh, what was it called? Something lane, it's not coming up now on here. But it's a little bit tight, but it's okay onto Woodlands Road, and then go over the M25, come down here, take a right, and then it'll be on our right. So, but last time we come from the from the north side. So, slightly different route in, but not to worry. We'll go that way anyway. Looks like it's gonna be okay. Let's, uh, let's run back outside now. I can show you uh, the load and show you the load and stuff like that, look. Let's go. So, they, uh, they have shifted a little bit in transit. Not by me, but by the person who loaded it. But uh, four this side left to come off, four the other side as well. Okay, there was four. Just one more to come off this side. Happy days. Right, that's one side done. Only a couple more pallets to come off the other side. Um, and then we'll crack onto the next place. This hoodie is another one of my custom designed hoodies. It's actually one of my favorite hoodies. Actually, no, I'm gonna say it's my favorite. And the reason it's my favorite is because no one will have a clue what it stands for, what it means, unless you're a truck driver or you've been in the industry or, you, or you've just done some revision or you've got a family perhaps. Uh, it's tachograph symbol. So it's drive, rest, other work, POA. You only know that if you're in the industry. It's one of my favorite tops. If you're interested in purchasing one, click the link down below. You can uh, check it out. But yeah, one more pallet left to come off and then we'll be done. Right, we are tit, good to go. Good to go. Like I said, it's only five miles to our next place. Um, so a bit of luck we'll be in and out of there by half past ten. With a bit of luck. I have been there before, like I said. And uh, it was a little bit narrow getting in. It's not an awful lot of room. And they weren't the quickest, if I remember rightly. So we do have that to contend with. <laughs> Let's get past these vehicles. Lovely. Oh, there's a police van in here. Oh, and a police car. It's too far looking ahead. <laughs> Let's get out of here first, and then we can uh, crack on. It's all clear. This road looks like it's really busy. All right. 
-hmm. We've got a gap on our right. <laughs> um, we've got a gap on our left. Mm -hmm. There's me thinking it looked really busy, and then all of a sudden there's room. And out we go. Lovely. Yeah, so I don't know where we're going um, next from this place, but I do have Google Timeline, so it tracks my location. So I know that I've been, but where we're going now, I know the exact date I went to it last time, which was the 7th of February. And I also know what I did afterwards from there. We went to Heathrow, picked up some storage boxes, and we took it back to, um, um, what do you call it? Like near Stroud, basically. But we haven't done that for a while, so I don't think we'll be doing that. I reckon we'll be like picking up H and H blocks or possibly even going to Tilbury, but could be completely wrong. We don't know. We'll find out in the next sort of thirty minutes or so. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. I will see you when we are just about to arrive at our delivery point. But what I what I am going to do now is pass you over to my good friend Trucker Jenko. Uh, he's a good mate of mine, he's called Martin. I'm sure many of you know him. If you don't, then I will obviously put all the links in the description down below. He has a very important message that he just wants to share with everyone. And I said I would be more than happy to share his message on my channel for him. Um, so I will let Martin explain it and I will see you in a bit. Hello, Jenko here. Yeah? Uh, a couple of months ago, my brothers and I started a uh, biker channel, Biker Brothers, it's all an adventure. Um, we are now well, we've now decided that we are going to do a round the UK charity ride uh, in memory of our sister who we lost uh, just over two years ago. Uh, we're going to be doing the four points of the UK, which is starting off at St. David's, then going up to John O'Groats, then down to Ness Point, then across to Land's End and then back up uh, to St. David's. Uh, we're doing it in aid of uh, cancer research uh, because our sister uh, died of uh, brain cancer and recently we've lost that uncle to cancer as well. So if you'd like to donate anything, uh, pop over to either my Trucker Jenko channel or the Biker Brothers channel, it's all an adventure. Um, the link will be in the description, click on the link and uh, yeah, please help if you can. Many thanks. Right, go around here. I think this was the road that I said was a little bit of a sharp right hand turn I think at the end of this road possibly we'll see when we get there but uh yeah so if you could all do us a favor and click the links down below to go to um uh Martin's fa uh, not Facebook YouTube page and his Bikers Bikers Bros page it would be second and third link down in the description down below you've got a snap at the top and then um because they're sponsored today's video and then Martin uh, Martin's channel will be just below that. It's for a good course. It's for Cancer Research UK. I've I've had quite a few family members die of cancer, and I've currently got a granddad which doesn't have long left because of cancer as well. So it is a um, it is something that's close to my own heart. I've donated. Of course, you don't have to donate if you can't afford it. I know times are tough at the moment, um, but if you would feel like donating, it would be greatly appreciated. By, uh, by myself and Martin and his brothers. So yeah, thank you very much. And yeah, it's a, it's a shame that I never met Samantha, which was Martin's brother, our uh, sister, <laughs> brother. <laughs> never met Samantha. Um, I wish I did. She she sounds sounds like an amazing person. I went to Martin's wedding and saw the rest of his family, but I didn't I didn't see Samantha. And it's kind of sad. But I, I can feel myself tearing up a little bit just just thinking about it. Death is horrible. No one likes death. Um, and it's such a shame that someone's lost their life at such a young age. So yeah, if you feel free, feel free to donate. It would be uh, greatly appreciated. And I gotta, I gotta stop talking before I get, make myself upset. Thank you. That uh, car's letting me out. Yeah, so it's not too tight, like it's just a uh, mediocre turn, I would say. Anyway, we're literally only a mile and a half away from the entrance. Hopefully, it's quiet. Oh, I just thought I've not actually phoned them up. It's one of those places where if there's another truck in there, it's going to be it's going to be interesting. It's there's really not a lot of room. Yeah, these are definitely back roads. <laughs> uh, well, actually, this is apparently it's an A road. It's an, the A two four five, but <laughs> it looks like a B road. It's probably a motorway, like in comparison to Cornwall, Corn Cornwall roads, Cornwall, Cornwall. Yeah, the roads in Cornwall, the, the bloody motorways are like A roads and A roads are like B roads and B roads are like unnamed roads. <laughs> Everything's like a, a step down. 
Right, okay, so we just want to turn right at the end of the road. Can't turn left because there's a, a low bridge. So we have to turn right. Plus it's on the right anyway. I can see someone in a high vis. Yeah, it's only a 3.7 metre bridge and we're 4.2, so we definitely wouldn't make <laughs> the bridge on the left. Right, is there anyone in there? No, it looks empty. It actually, looks, it looks um, like there's more room than there was last time I was here, to be fair. Go in here. Mind the fence. Lovely. Nice little gear change midway through there. Mind the fence. Lovely. And we've got a swing round here. Like if there's customers' cars here, if there are customer cars here, it will make the whole thing a little bit different. It says wait here, wait, wait for it to be clear, but I can see it's clear, so I'm going in. Why not? I'll get up here in a second and find out it's not clear. Yeah, it looks like loads more room than what there was last time. Um, I think we drove in actually and then reversed out there, I think. Yeah, I think that was it. I thought it was the other way around. But now I'm here, it looks like it could be a drive-in reverse. We'll find out. Yeah, it looks to be loads more room. I say there's loads more room, it's still pretty snug in here. I do for now. I think we might have to move over to the other side. I'm not sure. All right, let's go find someone. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, that's just tipped. What's going on with my fringe? <laughs> uh, we're tipped, so uh, both sides are done now. It's very quick, we haven't been here long at all. It's 10 o'clock, I think we arrived like quarter two or something. So 15 minutes, we've been done. We now just got to drive forward, reverse up there, drive on out. So let's crack on. We're heading back to Tetbury to get loaded. I think, I don't feel I'm delivering it today because it's got to go to Stoke. But I'm waiting to be confirmed. I'm pretty sure it's not delivering it today, but we'll see. Right, we, have, we actually haven't been to Tetbury for quite a while. It's not even on my <laughs> recently listed places, it's, it's, it normally is when I go. Tetbury Mail Court, there we go. Uh, we will need a break at some point today. What are we on driving time? Two and a half hours. So, yeah, we've got two hours spare before we need a break. And, well, we're more than two hours away, I think. Probably two and a half. What's that now saying? <laughs> two hours and 22. What far off was I? So, yeah, we we will need to stop and have a break on the way out. Let's get out of here first. It's very close to that iron post there, look. No banksman. No one wants to watch me back. That's fine. I can do it myself. Well, I say that, but someone... My mirror isn't quite right. Did he nudge it? I think the forklift has nudged my mirror whilst going around the truck, because that's not in the right place. So, let's sort that out. Got to take my shoes off, let's get over and have a look. Ugh. Not a chance do I stand on all my stuff over here with boots on. 
I think uh, I think the arm just got pushed in maybe a little bit. Oh, that's better. That's better. Right, so two hours and 22 minutes away. We're on two hours and 25 minutes of driving. So we've got two hours and five minutes remaining. Two hours, five remaining. Two hours, 22 away. So we will need to stop for a break. Um, options include Cobham services, Cheveley services, memory services, Reading services. That's about it. So we we pick one of them. I don't know which one yet. I just what I like to do is stop when I want to. <laughs> I don't like to plan so much. Ask my wife. She'll always be asking me what I want for dinner and stuff, and I'll be like, I don't know. I hate planning. I am very much a bloke who does thing on a does things on a whim. The only things I got planned this year is Formula One. <laughs> uh, but what we do on those days, completely on a whim. Thank you very much. Anyway, I'm looking forward to Formula One. I must admit. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got plenty of services to stop at. Anyway, talking of services, brings me on to my next subject. So this video is indeed sponsored by Snap. Um, I'm sure many, many drivers out there know what Snap is. And basically it allows you to pay for parking at service stations, but without technically paying on the day for parking. So you just rock up, or your drivers rock up, they put in your registration of your, of your vehicle, and um, you pay the desired amount to get you the amount of parking you need. And then what happens is you get an invoice set at the end of the month, be it uh, whether you're an owner driver or, or uh, an, em uh, an employee, no, no, an employer at a haulage company, you get uh, your payment sent through and then you pay for all your parking in one go. So. It's nice and easy. As a driver, I love it. Um, it used to be that you had to go into a WH Smith store and purchase at the till, but now I'm finding a lot of service stations have um, machines somewhere in the services with a big Snap logo, uh, and it's all touch screen. You just put in your reg and it's all done by yourself. So the driver doesn't have to pay anything on the day. You just put your reg in and then that's it, Bob's your uncle. The, uh, the employer, uh, or if you're self-employed, you'll get an email at the end of the month with uh, an invoice and uh, yeah, it's really good. And there's locations all over the UK and Europe. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out, Snap. There is a link down in the description down below if you are interested in having a little look. Uh, and I do personally use it, and as a company, Harry & Sons, we do have a Snap account, and our drivers do use Snap um, quite regularly. So it's definitely handy. But yeah, as, as a driver, I love using Snap when I park at services, so much easier. Just go to the machine, put your edge in, and you're done. So, yeah, maybe ask your employer if you want to uh, get Snap for the company, just in case you haven't got it. But, yeah, 150,000 users. There's quite a lot of users. So, yeah, Snap. Link is in the description down below. It's also a pinned comment. Check it out. Anyway, we are going to crack on to Tetbury. We should be there. Well, I'm going to have a break on the way. So, we should be there about 1 o'clock. Fingers crossed. All we've got to do is load this one trailer. Go back to the yard park up and go home that'd be nice but i have a feeling i'll have to probably load another trailer as well but we'll, we'll see later we'll see later right see you in a bit right you join me on the b4014 <laughs> if you know where that is it's just passed where is it past Molnesbury. <laughs> forgot we're on our way to tetbury um to get loaded it's going to stoke monday well a couple of deliveries I'm not sure if i'm one of them or not um, but we've got to go get a load anyway. The lorry in front, of the lorry in front, is indicating right. I don't know why. Is he lost? I think he's lost. Um, so yeah, we've got to go get loaded in Tetbury. We had a break in the end at Reading Services. I thought we were going to pass Cobham, but we didn't. We must have already been past Cobham. We were actually in Cobham when you last saw me. So I thought maybe Cobham Services was en route. But it wasn't. Red and Services was the first one. And I decided to stop at Red and Services rather than Chiefly Services or um, Memory Services. Anyway, we, I do need to make a phone call in a second because you've got to get permission to come down the lane where we're going down because the, <laughs> the local residents do not like the lorries. <laughs> they hate the lorries. So much, so much in fact, that last time I come down here, and I've not been for a while, admittedly, the last time I was down here, they had signs up, like wooden posts with posters, no to Melcourt, and then pictures of all the lorries. And I think I was on one of the pictures, I'm not sure, 
someone said I was in one of the pictures. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if they're still there. So we do need to make a phone call just to go through. Uh, uh, hey Siri, call Malcourt Tetbury. Right, so we're just phoning them through now. Uh, and then we can get put through and find out we can go on in. Yeah, hi mate, it's Luke from Harry and Sons. Yeah, you are right, bud? Yeah, I'm just wondering if I can come on down if that's right. Jenky's coming out. All right, I'll keep an eye out. All right, mate, see you in a bit. Come on, bye-bye. Right, so we've got a Jenkins in his truck on the way out, so we know there's basically like a little holding area that we can go into. Um, so we will wait for the Jenkins truck to come out. We do try our best to be courteous of the local residents. You got it, haven't you? So we, we, uh, we do try our best. We're a mile away from the turn-in. So all we've got to do is just hope that the lorry don't come out on the next mile. <laughs> Otherwise, we might miss it unless it comes this way. But yeah, they're really nice guys at Mount Quartetbury and I get on with them all and we have a little chat and that every now and then. So shout out to everyone watching. Look, James, I know James watches my channel. Right, so we're going to take a right and turn down this corner. I haven't seen any trucks come out yet, and I only made the phone call 60 seconds ago, so yes, we're just waiting for the Jenkinson's truck to come on out. Starting to get right. Can't see any truck yet. Window down now, we've got to concentrate. <laughs> Right, so we're going to turn down here. Is the Jenkinson's truck there? Nope. No Jenkins truck yet. So what's this here? Wild flowering verges. Okay, that's why they've um, boarded all this off on the left because they don't want trucks running over it. Right, hazards on because we are going to pull over on this little bit here on the left. Just wait for a truck to come down. The issue is, though, some drivers don't call. And I'll be here waiting to go on down and someone will overtake me. That has happened in the past. But I am a kind and courteous driver. I don't want to upset anyone. But also, it is quite funny <laughs> seeing all the signs. Seeing all the signs saying, um, say no to Malcourt. Stuff like that. We turn the engine off. CO emissions and all that. What can I say? kind and thoughtful driver. See, we do have a lorry now about to overtake, but it's not an Arctic, it's a rigid, so it's not someone who's gonna be, although he's coming down quite fast. Right, we've been sat here now for two minutes. I would say, where we're going is only three minutes away for an absolute push. So I'll wait a couple more minutes and then I'm going to have to make another phone call to see where this driver is. There is a chance that he's gone out and then parked up and had a break on site but out of view. Okay, I'm going to call him. Hi mate, it's Luke again. Yeah, you're right. Um, no one's come out yet. Oh, is he? <laughs> He's parked up. All right. Yeah, all right mate, we'll do. Coming in. It, yeah, he will, yeah. He'll pull out as soon as I come on down. <laughs> all right mate, it's in a sec. Right. <laughs> He's parked up. Like I said, you can park up. Um, when you come out, there's like a long lane and you can park up there. Um, so they've, he's gone off the way bridge, but he stopped again. So never mind, right, let's crack on then. We tried, so if we meet anyone now, video proof, innit? Like, we did try, but I wonder if they've still got these signs up. Like I said, it's been quite a while since I've been down here, a good two months, I'd say. Maybe more. I wonder if there are any more signs. <laughs> it's not the end of the world if we see a truck as well coming out now because 
we've got to take a right hand turn and we could theoretically just go straight on let them come out and then reverse back and go on down but i'm scouring yeah all the signs posts were here I'm i swear they were they've all gone i think i'm scouring down look making sure there's no trucks it's all good looks like it's been freshly tarmacked is that a sign are these signs i don't know Nah, they were bigger than, I was thinking they're bigger than that sign. I think they've all been taken down, but yeah, there were loads of them up saying, say no to Malcorp. <laughs> and it made me laugh. Oh, I wish I, I wish I got it on camera. That would have been hilarious. I, someone said I was on one of them. I don't think it was this truck, it was a different truck. Where they'd obviously taken photographs over a period of time. <laughs> and then put them all out. <laughs> It's quite funny. It's not, this road ain't too bad. You can pass, but for some reason the locals don't like it. Thank you. The cars that do decide to stop, stop at the narrowest point. <laughs> yeah, there is, there is room to pass, but they don't like you going on the grass or anything like that. This road's been recently tarmac, so I think they might have taken all the signs away to tarmac it and haven't bothered putting them all back out. But they were literally all down here. Loads of them. Man, I wish I got it on video. Anyway, there is still a chance that that Jenkinson's lorry could come out, mind. <laughs> there he is. The very lorry we tried avoiding has now come out. We were trying to avoid that very lorry. Oh, it's flooded down here. It's very flooded down here. Oh dear. You know what that means, don't you? The quicker I go, the more I disperse out the way. <laughs> Bloody hell, I've never seen it like that. Loads of water. But yeah, we called it. We waited for him to come out. He didn't come out. And as soon as we come on down, he leaves. That was typical, that. Anyway, at least we just got a free wheel wash. Can't argue with a free wheel wash. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, from, from here, you can see them where he would have been parked up. He would have been parked up down there and... If he saw me come down this lane, he would have waited, but no. <laughs> Literally timed it a little bit too late. If I come straight on down and I didn't stop, there wouldn't have been an issue then. But because the locals want us to phone ahead, that's what caused the issue. Never mind. But yeah, he would have stopped here. He would have come out, stopped here somewhere. And that's what's caused that. Never mind. Never mind, donkey. we we'll have to stop here, get our IVs on, go get our paperwork and go get loaded. Yeah, boy. Lovely. We made it. We got here in one piece. And the lorry passed. I really look very flattering right now, I know. Uh, yeah, me and the Jenkins lorry there, we, we, we passed on one of the narrower bits as well, so... Yeah. Could have been interesting. Someone in the car behind might have took a photograph, you never know. <sighs> Right, let's go get paperwork. See you in a bit. Right, we're just around the corner from the yard. We, um, so we got loaded at Tetbury. We've got to go back to the yard, drop this trailer. One of our colleagues is going to be taking this trailer Monday. And we've got to go and pick up the trailer that we dropped off on the side of the road the other day in the last video. We've got to go pick that back up and go and get that one loaded. That is what we have got to do. Now, somewhere down here, the road is closed for five days between like half past nine and, and a certain time. It's going to be interesting because I believe we're not going to be able to go to the yard while it's closed because we can only get in from one way without going through the weight limit. So it's going to be interesting if that is the case.
Anyone in there? Nope. Got to be careful of the uh, of the shovel. Make sure it sees you, but there's no one in it. It's getting very tight down here. Look. There's just no room for us anymore. There he is. There he is. Are you over there? We need to back this one up. Back it up. Get as tight as we can to the left, ideally. And then we'll just go forward a little bit. Lovely. Right, let's take this off. I ain't hanging about. All right, I wonder how long we're stationary for. That wasn't long at all. Gloves off. Uh, we're stationary for one minute. <laughs> It's just ticked over to two. We're off. <laughs> he was here before me and he's still on itching. He's probably thinking, how did you do that so quick? You just get used to it. Right, let's go out of here. So our trailer's just located over there. We can't quite swing round in one go, I don't think. So <laughs> we need to do a stupid reverse. Stupid reverse. Okay, now we can drive out. It's clear behind us, clear in front for now. Lovely. Beacons are still on, there's no one behind us just yet. And our trailer's that blue one there, look. Hazard's back on. It's all clear. We want to hitch up to this one. It's all clear behind. Just need to line up properly. Lovely. Got a high in our suspension as well. Our suspension isn't quite high enough. And we're on. Tug test. Tug test is good. Right, back in a sec. Got electrical Susie's on. Legs up. Trailer brake off, but not in that order. Clear left. Okay, clear left. Obviously clear right. And we're off. In we go. How busy is it? There's no one queuing. 
there's no one strapping either. Okay, looking good. Window up, it's getting a bit blowy. Ah, oh, nice, we could be going straight in, you know. Lovely. Right, I'm gonna get booked in, get loaded. I'll see you when we're strapped up, soon a bit. Right, we are loaded. All of these pallets here. We've got a total of 40 pallets, uh, 20 for each drop. And uh, just trying to work out one, two, three, four, five. So he's not red on this side, he's only red on the other side. So, two, four, six, eight, ten. Plus the other side, 20. That's for the first drop. And then again, two, four, six, eight, ten. Plus the other side, 20. Um, that's for the second drop. I'm now going to spend the next 15 minutes or so strapping up, putting corner boards on, etc. So I'll see you when it's all done. Okay, strapped up. Strapped up, corner boarded, all good to go. We just need to do the curtains up now. And then uh, we'll pop over to the yard next door, park up and hopefully uh, hopefully go home. It is only, oh my watch has died. It's 3.28, so not even half past three yet. So we'll easily, easily hopefully be done by four o'clock, which is good because I could do with popping to Sirencester, getting my wife's laptop, which is in for repair because it was stuck in a reboot system. I don't want to bore you, but I tried going to BIOS and resetting the default setup and yeah, it wouldn't work. So it needs to be completely wiped and reinstalled. So that's what they've done for me. So I'm gonna go pick that up, hopefully. Uh, right, let's do the curtains up and crack on. And we're done. We were done. I completely forgot to record whilst I was in the yard because I was in a rush to get to Cyrus and get my wife's laptop, like I said. Uh, we managed to get there in time and, and get back home. But yeah, we're now, we're now home. I'm sat in front of the computer and I'm gonna start editing Real soon, there's the computer look. I well, say I'm gonna start editing. I'm kind of loading up Grand Theft Auto, but I will start editing uh, this very video very soon. So yeah, that's it. Um, two trailers loaded for Monday, and we did two deliveries as well, so not a bad day's work. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my video. I do appreciate it, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my merch. We've got uh, the tachograph symbols, uh, so you drive in, you rest, you have a work, and you peer away. One of my favorite headings. Go check it out. The link is in the description down below. Big thank you to Snap for sponsoring today's video as well. And yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye bye.